There's loads of financial help available if you've got a disability or have arthritis. Just don't be afraid to ask for it, you're absolutely entitled to it. Sometimes when you start to apply for benefits, it can feel like a nightmare or a minefield. It can be extremely confusing. So it's important to know where to go for sources of help. There's a lot of information on our website. gov.uk can be helpful and the citizen's advice are excellent for helping. One of the most important benefits to know about if you've got a physical or mental health disability is called PIP or Personal Independence Payment. This is money that is paid out to you if you have any difficulties with daily living, activities of daily living, or with your mobility, and you will be assessed on both of those two things. Don't be afraid to apply for this benefit. One of the problems with it is that the application form is extremely challenging, so you may well need some support from somebody else who can help you, or from the citizen's advice to help you fill it in correctly. The more information you provide, the better the assessors will be able to look at your claim accurately. I think it's important to not underestimate your difficulties when you fill in this form. What the assessors will be looking at is whether or not you have any difficulty with your daily living, for example, washing, dressing, cooking, and if you need any help from somebody else to do those things. They will also be looking at if you need any help controlling your medication, for example. The other most important thing will be to look at your mobility. So do you need help getting around? Do you find it difficult to get up and down stairs? Or do you need to use a stick, for example? Once you've gone through the application procedure, it's quite common for applications to be rejected. So don't be despondent if this has happened to you. Often what's needed is a bit more information. So persist, take it to appeal if appropriate. And if you get rejected again, you're entitled to go to a tribunal and many people often succeed at a tribunal when they've been rejected before. So be persistent and be honest. Employment and Support Allowance, or ESA, is an allowance that you may be entitled to if you need some support getting back to work or you need some support when you're at work. You don't actually have to be in work at the time to apply for this allowance but you do need to have worked in the past and you do need to have paid some national insurance contributions. This benefit is means tested, so if you've got more than a certain amount of savings you may not qualify and if you, have, if you are earning more than a certain amount per week you may not qualify. There's no limit to the amount of voluntary work that you can do to qualify for this benefit. Universal Credit, or UC, is a benefit that in fact anyone can apply for, including disabled people. This is available to people who are on a low income and who need some financial support, so well worth making a claim for. Having uni Universal Credit may mean that certain other benefits may be reduced, so it's very important that you check on your entitlements, and it's a very complicated situation, so you may well need to have some advice from Citizens Advice on Universal Credit. A really important benefit that lots of people don't know about when they're working is called the Access to Work Scheme. In fact, you don't actually have to be working to, to, apply, to apply for this benefit but you have to have a job that you're ready to go to. What the Access for Work scheme does is allow a grant to be provided to your employers to help them to provide adaptations to keep you at work. So this can be many different things, for example, a, a standing desk, for example, or special seating or computer equipment, computer software such as um, voice to text software, and it can even be a personal assistant to help you with certain tasks that you find difficult. There is a cap on the amount of money that can be provided, but the cap is actually quite high and you will be awarded a grant annually or your employers will be awarded a grant annually if you qualify, so well worth applying for. Application for the Access to Work scheme is done through the gov.uk website. You may not qualify for the Access to Work scheme if you get certain other benefits, for example ESA, the Employment and Support Allowance, so check the gov.uk website for more information. 
If you have a disability, there are lots of sources of help to improve your mobility. So, of course, you can get a blue badge, which will help you park closer to where you need to go. There's a scheme called the Motability Scheme, which may provide financial assistance to allow you to hire a scooter or a mobility device. You may well be eligible for a disabled person's rail card or a bus pass in your local area so that you can get about. In addition, if you are qualify for the mobility component of the personal independence payment, you may well qualify for either free vehicle tax or reduced rate of vehicle tax. So well worth looking around for all of these benefits that can help with your mobility.